Hello. I don't know about you, but if I have a new idea, I'm totally excited. Bringing something to the world that was never there before. Better than before is better than your usual cup of coffee. And at the same time, you have to answer the question, is it worthwhile? Will you invest your precious time to get from a fleeting, though interesting idea, to a solution? Though it is always tempting to follow up on your different ideas, you have to find a balance here. But how can you know how valuable an idea is before you thought it through? That is what we are talking about today. Right after this. It could be that you just have one idea and you want to decide if you want to go for it or not. But if you are like me, you might have different projects in place already and you might have to either sacrifice one of them or your new idea. We will cover both scenarios here. Don't worry, I won't suggest any economical calculations. At this point, money is not an issue, because money shouldn't be the first thing if you have a great idea. For example, a friend of mine and I, we are members of an organization that looks really great on paper. And as it is often the case, the reality in the local clubs looks a little bit different. The problem people are different. So you have people in the organization that live up to its promise and there are others that obstruct it by being lazy slackers. If you talk to the latter people, they have their reasons. The thing is, the organization was never meant for them. They shouldn't be in it. But since they pay their membership fees, it would be crippling for the organization to make them go. As with every organization, the money is already spent. Though they have a nicer way of saying it. They say the money is already budgeted. Anyway, they cannot do what they cannot do. We have an idea. We won't change how this organization lives up to its expectations. But we can build a club that is in its setup highly unattractive to slackers. Only people who want to invest themselves will love it there because they will find only like-minded spirits in this club. You see, this idea is already a solution. But what led me to stay with it? There's no money in it. It's just a thing many of my peers were frustrated about. And there was this idea. So what made me work it out? I played the imagination game. Let's assume you have an idea. You're excited. So you, you imagine this idea was already flying. You imagine how it would be like if it was already realized. You don't have to worry about financing. You don't have to worry about convincing people. You just imagine how it would be if it was there already. Then ask yourself, is it only nice to have or would the world be a lesser place without it? That is the first question you have to answer right now. If this is a yes for the latter, there is a second question. How would other people answer this question? Obviously, if other people are not affected by your idea, the second question is not relevant. If both questions are a go, there's really only one reason why you wouldn't go for your idea. Maybe you have a more worthwhile idea you're already working on and you don't want to sacrifice it for the new one. Now, it can get complicated. What do you do if you already invested a lot of time in another idea 
that is not as good as the new one? It depends. If you see a good way to implement the old idea in a reasonable time, do it. A realized idea is better than any exciting idea in the making. But if you already know this old idea is not going anywhere in a reasonable time, you should take this energy from the new idea and push forward with it. But what about the time and money already invested in the old idea? In decision making we call this sunk costs. If we have nothing to show for, these are lost, no matter if you stick with your old idea or you go for the new one. In other words, it has no influence on your decision what to do. If your idea passes the imagination game, you should go for it, in theory, because after that you have to create a viable business plan. Without it, just stop. Ideas without an economical foundation are destined to fail. Imagine first, then calculate, and if everything looks good, you will realize your idea. See you tomorrow.